the effect movies have on us is indisputable. There is much research on how it influences our views on relationships, violence, faith and politics. But this very admission of Bollywood megastar Amir Khan is very powerful. Why? Because he is one of the top actors in Bollywood and he is speaking from experience from within the industry. Shayad, I have done a lot of work in my films and I have a lot of shame about this. No, it's true, because at that time we don't understand what we're showing or what we're seeing, what will happen to us. And I have a feeling that this is today. Unfortunately, this message is going to go up in the people. They think that the girls like this are the same, they like the same, they like the same. Now, I couldn't play the whole clip because of copyright reasons. I think that the time has come that we all have to be creative in the film industry and we all have to be creative in the film industry. थोड़ा रुक कर थोड़ा थम कर ये सोचना चाहिए कि हम अपनी फिल्मों के जरिए क्या सीख दे रहे हैं अपने बच्चों को। But the show admits that Bollywood movies portray a warped view on relationships, and they tend to normalize things like men acting like scoundrels and women liking it, men forcibly kissing girls and the girls liking it, beating them. Uh, when a girl says no, it actually means pursue me and eventually I will say yes and of course women being treated like objects. Now our brains are in an alpha wave state when we watch TV which means it is more prone to suggestion and the effectiveness of suggestion has been proved by studies like the Harvard 1999 one that was done on flashing words and images during movies and this has been made more effective by the use of pulsing images, yeah, the use of which can be tracked to a 2003 US patent. Now we know the unconscious mind is more prone to suggestion and of course conditioning and this influences our day-to-day -day decisions more so than we think. For example what we consider to be beautiful, what we consider to be cool yeah, and ways to deal with certain situations and so on. So what's the solution? Yeah, Give it all up? Well, in short, yes. <laughs> but I know that's not going to be practical for everyone. So the least we can do is try these three things to limit the damage. Number one, if you do watch this stuff, watch it consciously and critically. Don't let your guard down. Discuss the themes as a family, don't just passively consume the content making your children think it's normal. Number two, don't rely on the television to raise your kids and compensate for your responsibility towards them. Yeah, I know it's difficult but you do have to invest time especially in the first 10 years of their life. Number three, don't be so naive and allow private and unrestricted access of technology to your kids. Yeah, like I said, the first 10 years of their life is integral and well, integral in the formation of their long-term memory of their ideals, morals. So I hope you guys have benefited from this. It is indeed an incredibly powerful video and coming from the stars that people idolize, definitely share this clip and hopefully this will get a lot of people thinking about the movies that they consume and be careful with your diet and diet is not just stuff that you consume it's stuff that you consume through your ears yeah and through your eyes as well this is also diet so if you are going to watch something watch something that challenges you academically that doesn't teach you negative things all right guys let's leave it there until next time assalamu alaikum